Hey guys, welcome back to Freedom Homestead. I'm Tangie and today is grocery haul day. Um, and I'm gonna show you what I got, tell you how much I spent, and then share with you what we are gonna be having for supper this week. So let's get okay, to it. So here is my table, and I always like to start on the Aldi side. So first we're gonna start here with my two rolls of paper towels. They were 49 cents each. I got some frozen vegetables. Uh, I got some whole kernel corn, this was 95 cents and two bags of the steamed broccoli florets, which were $1.19 each. Uh, this week I bought unsalted butter. I normally get salted, but I'm going to attempt to start trimming back a little bit on the sodium intake for my family. So this is one step in the right direction. Um, a box of unsalted butter was $2.99. I got some sour cream for 99 cents. We got some hickory smoked ham for $3.19. We got some American cheese singles for $1.45. We're still doing good on sugar, you guys. Uh, this Marina Pure Cane Sugar is $1.95 at my Aldi. These mandarins were $2.69. Uh, this head of iceberg lettuce was $0.85. Cents. Hazelnut creamer, $1.79. Milk is still $0.98. Cents. Excuse me, I bought two cans of chicken noodle soup at $0.49 cents each. This grape jelly was on sale for $1.39. This salsa was $1.49. I got two jars of traditional pasta sauce for 99 cents each. The bread was 85 cents and the white rounds are still on sale for 89 cents, bringing my total at Aldi to $29.48. Okay, and for those of you who are watching my channel for the first time, when I shop at a salvage store, what I like to do is I like to uh, show you how much I spend for everything and then down at the bottom you're gonna see how much I would have paid if I had shopped at uh, walmart.com or amazon.com if I can find the prices and then if you stay tuned after the haul I'll break it down and show you uh, a comparison between what I would have paid what I did pay and how much in total I saved on this haul so first we're gonna start with the non-food okay, items. So we're gonna start with these mesquite no bands these uh, are supposed to help keep, keep mosquitoes away they're all natural they have uh, citronella um, citronella oils on them and they were three for a dollar and so mosquitoes get really bad around here plus we like to hike and camp and everything so i bought three uh they had some clearasil vanishing acne treatment cream for a dollar fifty and i was really excited about this this is the moisturizer that i use and i'm almost out which is the crazy thing i'm also almost out of my uh cleanser and this is actually what i use Last week I bought some of this. They still had some. I've been using it. I really like it. So I went ahead and grabbed another bottle for 99 cents. I was really excited about this one too. Um, the They had these uh, VO5 conditioners. You see they're marked 50 cents. They will buy one, get one free. So I got all of these for 25 cents each. So I spent $1 on four bottles of conditioner. I bought some of these last week and they were really delicious, but when I got them, they were a dollar. They had them on sale for 50 cents a box, so I bought three of them. We've been having a lot of company lately, um, especially young people, and my daughter likes to bake for them. So they had these Duff, this is the guy from Food Network, Duff. Um, he's got some blondies and they were on sale for 65 cents so I bought two of them and then they had these crusties um, triple chocolate chunk cookies for 75 cents so I got those um, they had these Ronzoni rigatoni noodles for 40 cents so I bought two they had their granola bars on sale for 50 cents each so I got two boxes of the 25% less sugar, chewy, Quaker variety packs. So there's two of those. I bought two more of the uh, peanut butter dark chocolate kind bars. These organic toaster pastries for 90 cents. So I bought two of the berry strawberry. They have these Horizon Organic White Cheddar Cheesy Deluxe for a dollar each. I bought two of those. I like, these have the squeezed cheese instead of the powdered cheese and I really like those. It tastes better. Um, they had these Horizon Organic Cheddar Crackers on sale for 45 cents a box. So I got three of the Cheddar Crackers, then I got two of the Honey Grams and one of the Cinnamon Grams. 
They still had some of these Jiffy apple cinnamon muffin mixes for 30 cents, so I grabbed four of them. Um, their tea is $1.75, so still cheaper than Aldi, so I grabbed some of that. They had these Olay soft taco tortillas for 50 cents. You can see they are still in date. Um, so I bought two of those to go in the freezer. Um, they had some Kingsford brown sugar applewood barbecue sauce for 75 cents, so I got one. And the last thing I got, um, a dollar for Juicy Juice. I used to get these for my kids all the time when they were little. Okay, so in total at the salvage store, I spent $29.04. So with my Aldi total at $29.48 and my salvage store haul at $29.04, that gives me a total of $58.52 with an overage of $8.52. Okay guys, here's my salvage store haul spreadsheet. On the left, you see that I have a regular price and on the right, I have paid. So the regular price side is the prices that I would have paid had I shopped walmart.com or amazon.com. And the paid side is what I actually paid for it at my salvage store. And when you go all the way down, all the way down, you will see here at the bottom, I would have spent $157.83 when purchasing these things regular price, but I actually spent $28.39 plus tax, giving me a savings in this one haul of $129.44. Oh yeah. For my family of four, we spend $50 a week, so I'm over budget, $8.52. However, you can look at it this way. $9.50 of what I spent at the salvage store was not on food. Um, it was on toiletry items. So there is that. Okay, so here's what we're gonna be having for dinner this week. So for dinner this week on Wednesday, we had sloppy doughs, which is like sloppy joes, except it's made with venison. With that, we had some of the organic horizon mac and cheese, and we also had some steamed broccoli. Thursday, we'll have potato soup and cornbread. On Friday, beef and broccoli with fried rice, and hopefully my daughter will make some of her delicious yum yum sauce to go with that. On Saturday, we'll have rigatoni and salad. Sunday, I will either pull out all the leftovers in the fridge and we'll have a must go. Everything must go. <laughs> if there's not enough for a meal, then we'll just have some beef stew. I'll throw some in the crock pot before we leave for church. On Monday, we'll have unstuffed pepper soup. Tuesday, we'll have crock pot deer fajitas and you guys that's the day I get to pick up my Zacon chicken if you ordered your Zacon chicken for the March pickup you should be getting it that week so don't forget and then last but not least Wednesday my grocery shopping day I'm going to utilize some of that chicken and make some delicious chicken and dumplings and then of course we'll have some green beans from last year's garden Speaking of Zaycon, the 99 cent boneless skinless chicken breast sale is back and ends tomorrow, March 16th at 11.59 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Use my referral link in the description box below and use the promo code TRYUSNOW, all one word, at checkout and that way you'll get your credit. This is a fantastic sale and a great way to stock up, so don't miss it. Also, don't forget that tomorrow is Friday, which means frugal family food. And this week we have someone new to the lineup. Her channel is not new to me by any means, but it's definitely new for frugal family food. And that is Claire over at Cookie Crumb Fun. And you guys will love her channel. She is a trim healthy mama lady all the way. Um, she is also a mom of a large family and she is a homeschool mom. So if you love things like that, then don't forget to check out Claire at Cookie Crumb Fun. I will link her channel in the description box below and I will also throw an iCard up in the corner. If you are not a member of our Frugal Family Food Facebook group, I implore you to please check it out. If you love a community of people who are trying to save money on their grocery budget, then this community is for you. Everyone is always sharing helpful hit, uh, helpful tips, recipes, grocery hauls, um, just little bits of information that they have found that works for them. We also have a Frugal Family Food page. Um, since our group is so big, almost 100,000 members, um, we anytime we share some information, it kind of gets a lost in all of the activities. So we thought that having a page would kind of be like a bulletin board. It would just be a way to find information a lot more easily. And also we have frugal family food, inst 
um, Instagram. And that is, you know, for announcements and also to share you guys. Some of you have been buying our Frugal Family Food shirts, like the one I'm wearing now. Today is sponsored by Coffee. So if you've bought any of the shirts from Frugal Family Food, then be sure to take a picture and then tag us in it, and we might share your photo on our Instagram account. And pretty soon we are going to be opening our Frugal Family Food website to the public, and we are so excited about that. Um, it's going to be a place where you can uh, get all the tips and tricks on saving money Money on your grocery budget we're going to talk about uh, cooking frugally shopping frugally growing your own food preserving your own food um, and all of the ways that will help you feed your family well on a budget so don't forget to check out my good friend Amanda Beal over at the fundamental home she is going to be releasing her grocery haul today so head on over there see what deals she got see what she's gonna be cooking for her family this week um, also if you're not following me on Instagram uh, what something that I like to do um, uh, throughout the week as I cook these frugal meals for my family I share pictures of it kind of give you a cost breakdown of how much my meals are I just started doing that this week and it's been kind of fun um, but anyway and then you can also kind of see how I'm utilizing these salvage store ingredients along with what um what I have already that I have grown and preserved and then the things that I get at Aldi so if you're interested in seeing how all that works then be sure to follow me on Instagram and I will put my Instagram and my husband's Instagram um, down below so you can follow us and yeah that's all I've got for you guys today I hope you enjoyed this crazy messy haul I am like so not put together today but it's just one of those days I know you mama's feel me. But um, anyway, that's all I've got for you guys today. Until next time. Thanks so much for stopping by Freedom Homestead. Here we're about living off the land, being together as a family. We homeschool our two children. We talk to you about our gardening adventures, how we preserve our own food and build our food storage. We live on a tight budget and we share with you our grocery hauls. I will even break out the cleaners and show you how I clean my house. So whether we're sharing with you our life, our love of liberty, or our love for each other, thanks so much for stopping by and please consider subscribing.